Hi, I'm with Davis Instruments, and today we're going to go over the setup and configuration of your Vantage View. Let's get started. Included in your box is the needed Vantage View Quick Setup Guide, ISS, and console installation manuals. The top of the box has your wind vane, your anemometer wind cups. Inside, your Vantage View weather station. your Vantage View console and kickstand, your AC power adapter to power your console, your rain spoon tipping mechanism for your rain collector, and the hardware installation kit. start with the setup of the ISS. Insert the degree screen for the rain collector. Next we'll move to the rain tipping spoon mechanism. The battery. wind vane, I want to tighten that, followed by the anemometer cups. So here it is. We'll need a 7 16 wrench for the installation. We'll start with the U-bolt. Just tightening them enough to hold them in place. So we can slide this right onto the pole. Now that the U-bolt's in place, it's, it makes the installation much easier. Simply slide it onto the pole. And hand tighten the screws. We'll use the 7 16 wrench to tighten the nuts, and your installation is complete. Temperature, humidity, solar panel, transmitter. Let's get your console ready for configuration. First install the kickstand. We've included this so that you can place your console on a flat surface. Place the tabs into the hole and press up to lock your kickstand in place. Now install the rubber feet onto the kickstand. We've included two additional rubber feet for the bottom of your console. We've installed them already. Now it's time to power your console on. Simply grab your AC adapter and insert it into the port on the side of your console. If you decide not to use the AC adapter, 
or want battery backup, you can use three C-cell batteries. Simply remove the battery cover and slide your batteries into place. Reinstall the battery cover and your console will power on. You will hear three beeps to ensure your console is functioning properly. Now we can proceed with the console setup. We'll go through the first 13 screens, starting with the time and date screen. We'll want to use the left and right arrow buttons to toggle through the different fields. Once at the field we want, go ahead and use the plus and minus arrow buttons so that we can make adjustments. It's important to have the correct time and date so that historical data is time stamped correctly. To proceed through the different screens, we'll use the done button. So once we're complete entering the time, press done to screen two, which is the time zone screen. Here you'll want to enter your correct time zone. Press done to proceed. This is the daylight savings settings. You can toggle between auto or manual. The next screen is the daylight savings status, followed by active transmitters. Here, your console will listen for your ISS. This one's on ID 1, followed by configuring your transmitter ID. You'll want to make sure you set it to on, which is view ISS. Next, we have retransmit, followed by the latitude and longitude screens. Make sure to enter your correct latitude and longitude. The next screen is the elevation screen. It's important to enter the correct elevation for where your console is located, as it will affect your barometric pressure reading. We'll then proceed to the bar reduction setting. Next is the rain collector type, followed by the rain season. Select the month that reflects when your rain season begins. Press and hold the done button for two to three seconds to exit setup. Some of your key information is displayed as follows. Your wind speed and direction, historical graphing data, inside and outside temperature, inside and outside humidity, barometric pressure, rain totals, and your weather center. I hope this video was helpful. Additional details and specs can be found on davisnet.com. Thanks for watching.